welcome to another episode of, you guessed it, The Shirtless Painter. Anyone can paint, and anyone can paint anything, including my good friend and guest today, fellow artist, Scott Thompson. Hello. Thank Scott, you. Scott, thank you for being with us. Well, thank you for having me, Shirtless. Um, today, in honor of uh, salad, oh. Scott and I are both going to be painting our dream salad. So this can be interpreted in any way uh, we choose, and I encourage you to take off your shirt and paint along with us at home. We'll be flashing some of the colors on screen, so uh, feel free to dive in, and let's get some salad going. Let's go. Okay. Right. Okay. So the first thing I like to do okay, with yeah. uh, a salad is to just sort of get a basic bowl shape a bowl. going. So right, good idea. I'm going to go ahead and get some of my... Bowl white. I'm not. I'm not copying. But I, is it cheating Please. if I look at no, what you're doing first? No, feel free to sneak a peek. If you're okay. painting with a friend, always feel free to sneak a peek. That's, That's my. Little it's not cheating, secret. is it? It's just you're you're um you're absorbing exactly. your, your friend's uh, talent. Sometimes my <laughs> wife and I paint uh, oh. together, and if she sneaks a look at another man's painting, that's that's okay. Oh, yeah, we wife. Oh, well. No. Oh. She shows up in some of my paintings. Does she? I think I'm going to paint your wife in, in the salad. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> paint her drowned in a salad. <laughs> well, hey, wrong? you could paint anything you want to paint. Sorry, hon. <laughs> Taking your wife out of the picture. That's okay. You <laughs> may. Salad. I would never what say is... this in real life, but I will say you may kill my wife as long as it's in a painting. That goes for Scott, and it goes for all of you. May I ask your wife for permission to objectify you sexually? She, you, she doesn't need to sign off on that. You can go ahead. That's all right. I, I'll, I speak for myself. Because you, you are shirtless. Exactly. So I'm please, no, objectify me um, every which way. Okay. You please. Okay, so. Well, okay. You're going to start with, I, with um, the bowl. I'm just getting a nice basic bowl. I here. like to start with a pond. Hmm. I know you're not supposed to paint with the palette brush, or is that what this is? What's this called? Not the palette brush. The, what's it called? The palette knife. And palette I, knife. I would say I absolutely encourage you to paint with it or carve with it. Do anything you need with any tool in your toolbox. So. And why do you like acrylic so much? I think I'm afraid of some sort of turpen turpentine poisoning or something oh, because okay. you have to clean it with those harsh chemicals. So, do you make sure that all your makeup doesn't have lead in it? You know, that's a great question. Maybe yeah. we could get uh, maybe Lee if you want to just double check on uh, the makeup. We don't want any of us getting poisoning. Thanks. No. See, I'm not really. I obviously I'm not a trained painter, and I don't really paint. I like to paint on a computer. Hmm. That's how I've always done. I don't. I mean, I, I call it painting because it's that's what it says so in the program. But I um, just because you're not using a, a brush or, or liquid paint, I, th I I don't think that means you're not painting. I, I agree. Think. You're way ahead of me. I haven't no, done it. No, no. I'm just sort of working on my basic bowl shape here. So I'm just kind of getting a. I decided to go with a bigger bowl than I initially Did you? initially I thought. I yeah, my eyes were smaller than my stomach in, in this case, so um, okay. I'm gonna actually make it a little bigger. Do you like George Bush's work? I do. I'm a big fan of George Bush's paintings. What I've, do you What do you like about it? I like the fact that he paints his dog. I think it's uh, it's adorable. Um, I like the fact that they they really seem to. Uh, uh, and I usually, this is, uh, for the record, this is as political as I've ever gotten on this show by saying I like George Bush's paintings, and that's that's as far as I'll go. But um, if they have a lot of personality. I like the ones where he does, they're, they're not um, they're not ostentatious or... or uh, no, they're not pretentious, are they? Pretentious in any way. I think that's very key. Yeah. He's not trying to impress anybody. Nope, he's and just... And they say that he's not. Right. Impressing anybody, but they he's impressed it. you. I kind of like it too. I'm gonna put the bowl here, floating. I like to have my bowl. If it was a perfect um, salad, it would be a bowl floating on the water. Mm. And, and there, there's no, there's no rule that a salad has to be in a bowl. No, a salad could be on a plate, a salad could be in a car, yeah. it could be on the floor, it could be in a sort of a tumbler, it could be inside of a, you know, a carved out skull, mm -hmm. just about anywhere you can have a salad. 
Okay, so I'm just incorporating my bowl hole here. Every bowl, bowl hole. needs a hole. That's sort of where you put the the contents of the, the bowl. I really miss not having brown. I, I'm gonna have to try to get make that. That might do it. Yeah. I encourage all of you at home to make make brown yourselves. Yeah, I started painting years ago on the computer because I I start I, I realized no one was make, gonna make my movies or television shows because they were too expensive and they were all like set in fantastical worlds. So I thought I'll just start drawing them. So that's what I did. I think I, that's why, and that's why I published a graphic novel. And that's um, because of that. Oh, see, and so you eventually you wound up telling your story. Anyway. I did, yes, I did, because I figured if no one's going to make this movie, I'll turn it into a graphic novel. And that was my first one called The Hollow Planet. Mm, everyone, check out The Hollow Planet. Hollow Planet, yes. Now, so I've got my basic bowl that's shape. Good um, I'm going to go ahead and start just adding some some uh, roughage to the bowl. Kale? Are you going to put kale in your salad? I might put some kale or, yeah, we'll start with some kale. But I'm going to call this dinosaur kale. So this is going to be sort of big kale that maybe the dinosaurs would have eaten, the healthier dinosaurs. So we'll get some of our kale green. <laughs> what am I doing? Remember, Scott, there are no mistakes, I know, but no screw-ups. There might be a mistake. Okay, so I'm gonna actually, this is, I'm gonna get my kale brush here. This is for painting kale. I just bought this, so let's see if it was worth the, the money. Ooh, look at that. That actually gives you a nice kale effect. You've heard of lake effect snow. Well, this is kale effect painting. So write that down. What do you do um, shirtless, like for a living? I mean, I, I know that this is, is this your living? Oh, this is it, yeah. I'm, I don't have any other skills um, at all to speak of. Are you, yeah. but, but you must, did you have a job? Are you a painter yourself? Well, I do these paintings, I do this show, and I do, that's what I do in my free time. Boy, we got a lot of bugs. Somebody left this salad uh, outside for too long because there's a lot of little bugs floating around. Yeah, I do, I pretty much paint all day and then I get a good 10 hour sleep and then I just sort of start painting again. That's the perfect life, isn't it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. And see, to me, money is, I'm not too concerned with it. I wouldn't say that I'm a rich man, but I'm, you know, I'm rich in, um, in spirit and I, you know, there's a lot of richness in my life. I have a lot of rich colors in my, mm -hmm. my You have paint. children? Uh, my paintings I consider my children, so... Do you think that yes. artists shouldn't have children? I'm not going to tell anyone else how to live their life, but... Do you think I it's hard to have both? It's hard to paint the, um, the number of hours per day that I like to paint and have right. children. They would starve or probably fall into mm -hmm. like a crevice or a... Um, but you, you know, know. Kids, kids enjoy crevices. So yeah, so maybe it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if you had a kid who fell in a crevice. Or a crevasse, if you will. Crevasse, if you're nasty. <laughs> to answer your question about money, I usually just sort of use, I use a barter system where I trade my paintings for, say, you know, um, some food or... Really? Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Some, uh, like a loaf of bread or a... You mean that they don't pay you enough to live? Not at this place. They're pretty cheap, eh? Mm. How did you get this job? I mean, did they, I don't... Well, I think about? they say that you should dress for the job you want to have, and I just sort of started painting um, shirtless, and next thing you know, I was the shirtless painter. So it, it really did come true in my case. Do you paint at home shirtless? This is actually my home. This is, um, this oh. is where I, yeah, I do. You I live sleep here. here. Yeah, this is, this is, um, this is where I work and, and sleep. Um, so, yeah, it's sort of an all-in-one living working space. Okay, so I think I'm gonna, I've got my, my bowl here and I've got some of this green stuff coming out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little more green and I'm gonna actually make this bowl the world, the planet Earth. What do you guys think of that? 
Does it blow your mind? So don't nice. be don't be precious about getting the continents Jesus. correct. I don't, you know, I'm not great with geography, but I'm just gonna sort of just kind of guesstimate what these these old continents look like here. We don't have to worry about what hemisphere this is. This is just sort of lowercase e Earth. I'm going to go ahead and add a continent here, sort of it, just in the shape of a, um, a paint palette. We'll have it just peeking around. Because this could maybe be sort of a whole land where they all just paint together. That's sort of where I'd like to live someday, if I could afford it. It's also very expensive there in this land, so. Okay. What the heck, I'm gonna go ahead and give a brush, make a brush continent as well. Brush Look at that. Now, Scott, you said you like to paint mm -hmm. using your computer. How are you finding the um, very difficult these materials today? Because I, when I paint on a computer, I'm always erasing everything. Mm. So I have no, I've done four paintings in acrylic. They're just awful. They look sort of like paintings that John Wayne Gacy threw away, mm. like clown paintings that weren't quite good enough right, for right. him. And, uh, but on my, when I paint on a computer, they, they, they don't, they look like a serial killer, yes, but an unsuccessful serial killer. Ah, uh, yes. Right? And but if, when we, I if a killer has never succeeded in killing, is he a killer at all, or she? Well, exactly. So, but, you know, I, um, so I find this very difficult because I don't know how to, because if I was like painting on the computer, I would just w erase it all, mm -hmm. and then I would make a mistake, and then I would kind of um, do it again. But um, this is very hard. Well, it's like I always say, there are no screw ups in this house. That's, that's sort of my sassy. Um, you know when you see like a pillow or something yeah. that says, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy? Mm -hmm. My pillow says that there are no screw ups in this house. So that's sort of my little sassy thing that I, that I say. Now I noticed, Scott, that you said again, and I believe I I'm detecting a hint of a Canadian accent. Yes, there. I do. And that's nothing to be ashamed of. Ashamed of? No, I think it's actually. It's a very little nice. more, and, and I, I, you know, it, it disappeared for the longest time when I lived here. But I moved back home, and it came back. Um, we were discussing earlier. The Canadian accent is kind of morphing. It, I think most accents are kind of disappearing mm -hmm. because the internet is, I guess, in international television is flattening. Mm -hmm. It's a globalized society. Like, where are you from? I couldn't. I couldn't have. I have no idea where you're from. To well, me, you you seem like I, I have. No, I detect nothing. Well, I actually spent. I, I've sort of lived all over, lived and painted everywhere. But I did spend some time in Buffalo, New York, which is close oh, to oh the my Canadian God. border. Yeah, Buffalo. So, yeah, but where, the, you don't have a hint of that. Well, Flat A. I've spent so much time just painting alone at, and not really. Um, you know, I, I just sort of have created my own accent, which is just sort of like the accent of painting. Can you do it? Can you can you lapse into Buffalo like Perk the car, Merrick? Oh yeah, yeah. Car. Uh, car. Gotta go get the car Rochester? fixed. Rochester. Rochester is sort of the same. Um, we got we got great deals. Buy a used car. Buy a used car. It gets uh, supermarket. Get, drink a little bit. Um, Come to shop at Taps. Come to Taps. Taps never stops. Remember Tap, Joey? Do you remember? You're too young for this, but when there used to be a woman from Taps supermarket, and we would see all the American commercials. Oh, we would see the Canadian. Yeah, and she would stuff. go, "Not 99 cents, not 89 cents, not even 79 cents." And she, I mean, get, I'm losing the accent. She would just keep erasing it till it'd be like, "And 39 cents here at Taps supermarket." Now you mentioned the the Taps woman. There's a lot of sort of um, iconic uh, local 
commercial celebrities in Buffalo who have been doing their commercials. Yeah, like Irv Weinstein. Irv, yep, we love Irv. Yeah, I think he did. passed away. Did he? Yeah, I think I think at did. a certain point he passed away, but I grew up with loving Irv. There was a whole song dedicated to Irv. Yeah. It was so, I think it was the song, the T-Rex song that just goes, da na 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 hey, da na 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 except they said, da na 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 Irv, da na 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 and that was sort of the whole... The whole ad. He was. He had terrible skin. I remember mm. that going. God, he has such terrible skin. He's allowed on television. If any of Irv's family is watching, we're sorry for your loss. But we love Irv. I mean, look at that. We and love I, him, but remember uh, Commander Tom? Oh, he, I do. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, used to have a thing on when I was a kid. It would be um, four o'clock. They would play movies, and it would be Commander Tom. Was that his name, Commander Tom? Yeah, Commander yeah. Tom. Yeah, wow. This is a real, this is a real mind blow. I have to is say. Is it? Because well, I, I would watch the, I would watch um, the Canadian channels too. We would get, you know, um, the Toronto station and um, I think CBC. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of Americans live in the border. Or watch Kids in the Hall on CBC. Um, I, yeah, I believe I did. I would double up too because well, because be we we have different s uh, standards, so CBC would be. Um, we didn't. We don't censor the same things. Oh yeah. Do you remember any words that you could say? On oh yeah. CBC like you that? can't. America in the states, you can't say. You you're very very touchy about anything religious. Mm. Um, Canada, not as much. So you couldn't. There was certain. We did a thing called Dr. Seuss Bible, which was not even HBO wouldn't allow us to do it. Wow. Eventually, it got shown. But um, you hear that HBO? Maybe you're not the. Hip oh no, premiere. HBO definitely said we were. I'm very proud to say we uh, HBO censored us. No one got censored by HBO but us. Look at that. That's HBO. pretty cool. I'm very proud of that. Yeah, guess they're not so cool after all. That's. I'm just kidding. I'm being. They're I'm being cool. horrible. We love HBO. Okay, so in the, I've been sort of uh, just absent-mindedly adding. Um, I made I made our um, you know our World Bowl here. Mm -hmm. You've heard of a World Cup, well, uh, it, but I've just sort of added some wings to it, some nice angel wings and a little halo. So it's almost as if the the salad is um, I don't want to say dead, but you know, sort of on another plane, sort of uh, an angel salad. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more toppings in here. And I think it would be nice to add kind of peace signs. Because oh. I think that would be sort of nice. Yeah, that's nice. Peace. Peace. I think peace. That's here. Here's a crazy idea. Peace. Maybe everyone just gets along and paints. Well, then I'm going to counter that by putting a bomb mm. into my salad. And that's good, too. You I can't can know peace unless you've known. Well, that's exactly it. More. It's the, you need darkness for there to be light. There. I have a feeling that people are going to be um, understanding that soon. Not to get on my soapbox here, but I think if everyone spent a little more time painting, I truly believe we'd have fewer people in the mood to kill. I others. agree. It's hard to put in a full day or a half day or even in two hours of painting and then want to go chop someone's head off, I think. Huh. When it's funny because I, 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 when I first started painting on the computer, I painted a lot of beheading. Ah, I, I became obsessed with beheading, and before, before the whole craze happened, like this is the late '90s. Right, beheading is big now. Yeah, Scott was there. I was, I was way ahead of the curve, and then that suddenly everyone was beheading, and I went, oh, I'm not, I'm done with this. Yeah, now. you don't want to do it anymore if everyone's yeah. doing it. So a lot of people like to, a lot, there's sort of an ancient myth that the, um, the world is held up by a turtle. And that's all well and good, but um, turtles are sort of just small current dinosaurs. So I'm going to actually go ahead and make uh, the world being held up by a dinosaur. I think that would be kind of fun. Because they did come before us, they sort of laid the groundwork for, not the way we live our lives necessarily, but certainly some great movies that we've had, like Jurassic Park and... Others. And Ninja Turtles? Ninja Turtles, yes. One of the great films. Okay, so I'm going to get some of my dinosaur green here. I'm just going to kind of use this spongy brush. 
And we'll just have it resting on our dinosaur's back here. This won't be a T-Rex necessarily or a brontosaurus. This will just be sort of a plain dinosaur. Sort of how the Earth is not really um, totally accurate to. This will just be sort of a catch-all dinosaur. But I think it's a friendly dinosaur. That's that much we know. Now, Scott, a lot of people out there are scared of dinosaurs, but... I, I was always terrified of a, a Tyrannosaurus rex mm. appearing in the horizon. Yeah. They're scary. They're scary beasts. But they are definitely. What would be your favorite dinosaur when you were a kid? Oh, boy. I used to like to draw dinosaurs and paint them, of course. Um, I definitely was a big fan of the T-Rex. I mean, come on. You got to do it. And I like the plesiosaur. They were the Which ones one that swam. The oh. They're like a brontosaurus, but with flippers. Oh, yes, yes. Those are a great dinosaur as well. Plesiosaur. It, it sounds very polite, too. It's almost it like does. a... Yeah, exactly, like, yeah. You just need and a thank you yes. Plesiosaur and the thank you -sor. Yeah, that's its friend, the thank yes. you -sor. They went together like uh -uh. please and carrots. So I'm going to go ahead and add some eyes on this dino. That's a good idea. Money. Let's sort of just give them some highlights around the mouth. Give this dinosaur has a tough job, so I'm going to give him some bags under his eyes. Look at that. Scott, how is... Um, how's everything going over on your side of the canvas? Pretty I haven't good. peeked. I, I, Pretty I'm good. so engrossed um, in my own. You know, it's. I haven't really put anything edible in it yet. That's okay. A salad does not need to be edible, and things don't need to be edible to be in a salad. Oh, God, I know what's just missing. Um, dressing. Yeah. Ah, yes. Every good salad needs a dressing. Well, I'm honored that um, I get to share one of your non-digital paintings with you today. Um, I hope that uh, I hope that you are having a good time working with this. Song. I am. I am enjoying this. Good. That's all that matters. At the end of the day, it's all that really matters. You know what? I'm gonna. I know dinosaurs don't normally have. Well, they might have ears, but none that you could see. But I'm going to go ahead and give. I'm going to go ahead and give this dinosaur some ears here, just so we could hear what's going on, and uh, he or she can hear what's going on up up on Earth. Just give him a nice ear there. Look at that. Great. And that reminds me, I gotta give mine some I gotta give mine some salad too. Salad dressing, I should say. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this pink stuff here. This could be Thousand Island this is sorta of close to Thousand Island, but we'll call this Million Island dressing, because it's even more weird and pink. So we'll just kinda mix it in. Under the salad there. So I think I'm feeling pretty good about mine. Scott, how are you feeling over there? Not bad. No Just rush. One go more ahead. thing. Yeah, go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, just since we brought her up, I'm just going to go ahead and add my wife sort of standing on the dinosaur's tail here. 
Because who, you know, they say, uh, who polices the police? Well, who watches the dinosaur that watches over us? So the answer in this case is my wife, but I'm gonna make her sort of a, um, eh, what the hell, we'll make her a, a dinosaur too. Small little dinosaur. She could be one of those ones that sort of nip at you in uh, Jurassic Park. Jeez, what the hell is that? I don't know what that is. I don't know. It sounds like you're making some discoveries over there in Jurassic Well, I thought I was drawing a fish, but it's not very good, so I'm just gonna turn it into something else. See, and that's the beauty of painting. If it's not working out as a fish, it can always be something else. Let me just add my wife's tail here. That's the worst. I'm gonna just cover that whole thing up. I hate it. Sometimes you can get mad at your paintings, and that's okay. I'm furious. It's really okay, it's your right. You shouldn't treat other people in your life badly, but you can treat your paintings badly. That's something I don't say very often, but it's true. You can do whatever you need to do to your paintings. They're your property. Okay. And while we're at it, I'm gonna actually go ahead and give my wife a little whip. Oh. Just so she's sort 50 of... 50 shades? Kind of a whip? Yeah, just kind of whipping the dinosaur into shape. Boy. <sighs> just give this dinosaur a little red lip color. I don't think that's... Yeah, I don't... I can't imagine... I don't know what's... I don't think there's anything left to do. All right, well, uh, should we do the ceremonial uh, checking out of each other's paintings? Yeah. Okay. Why not? Sure. All right, let's, okay. uh, let's go ahead and tag each other. Oh, very nice. Uh, oh. So this is my wife here, sort of. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is great. This I like what's going on here. I like it's this. Waterfall. Oh, beautiful. So it's sort of teetering on that very yeah. Precipice of a waterfall. Yes, like and a nice tree. Here. Yeah, and there's and but it's raining diamonds. Ah, and the uh, and the blood. The sun is um, spitting out Spirit, blood. Yeah, blood onto the sun. for the Perfect dressing for a salad dressing. Yeah, sun blood, sun blood. Wow, this is nice. So, so it's like a mythical thing, like um, the dinosaur carrying the earth on exactly. its back. Exactly. I thought it'd be kind of fun to update it for you know yeah. the Jurassic what, World. Era. And what's in here? What's the what's the pink? What's the purple stuff there? That, the pink oh, thing? that's just salad dressing. That's I thought uh, it'd be fun to have. There's Thousand Island dressing, which is sort of pink. So yep. this is uh, Million Island dressing. I thought, why not just have some fun with numbers? And what's the? This is the Earth as a salad bowl. This is an Earth as a as a salad bowl, and I've added some painting uh, inspired continents here. This is a palette sort of continent, and mm -hmm. this is a brush shaped continent. And uh -huh. I like to think the people uh, the people that well, we'll say the people who live on the brush shaped continent are painters, and then these people are criminals. Oh, you know, that's a this penal, is Australia then. That's a penal colony. So this is the penal colony. Uh, yeah, and is that a, what is is this a, a tiny dinosaur uh, riding yeah, this other one? That's my wife as a dinosaur that's your wife. cracking the whip. Yeah, making sure the dinosaur. And what's this up here? Is that the moon? That's a new moon, a green moon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this here, the halo, is that? That's just sort of a, a nice halo around the salad. It's sort of like if, if you ever wanted to say holy. Shit, this is a great salad. Maybe that would be a situation. And you have peace signs, so this is a salad that will bring peace to the world. I hope so. Yep. What's the base of it? The green there. Is that kale? That's kale. I use kale. my new kale brush, and I think it worked out pretty I, well. I gotta get one of those kale brushes. They're great. Check out. Uh, well, we don't have the website up and running, but we'll s start selling shirtless painter brand kale brushes very soon. Nice. All right. Well. Yeah. See, see this is a monkey. That's not actually your wife. Oh, no, hey, no, look, no. your words, not mine. Um, oh, well, yeah. I think this has been, I, I've had a great time painting with you today, Thank Scott. You. It's been truly wonderful catching up about Irv Weinstein and, uh, to, and doing some art together. <sighs> Thank um, you. I don't know about you, but I'm a little tuckered out from I a hard too. day of painting. I think we need a little nap.
don't you think? I think so. Oh. Painting really tuckers you out, mm. doesn't it? It sure does. That's why I have to sleep so many hours per night. How much do you sleep every night? I get at least 10 hours or I can't even function, but I usually try to go for really? more than that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is nice that we have our earplugs mm -hmm. on our palette. Get our little plugs here. Ah. All right, before I am unable to hear anymore, I just want to once again thank my guest, uh, my friend and fellow artist, Scott Thompson. Um, I want to encourage all of you to take off your shirts and paint along with us next time. And until then, nighty night. Good night. <laughs>